Today in our 2016 Mazda CX-9, we're doing a test fit of the Swagman XC2 platform style 2x rack. That part number is S64650. Now we already have our bike secured down, we're first going to show you how we do that. So we have two cradles, one at the front and one at the back tire, and we have a frame hook here in the center. This is going to hold our bike down into our wheel cradles. We're just going to push on the gray button here and lift straight up, and that's going to release our bike. We'll be able to take our bike off and set it off to the side. With that out of the way, we'll start with a few measurements. First is going to be overall what we're adding to our vehicle. That's going to be about 19 inches. Ground clearance is going to be about 15 and a half inches. And closest point is going to be about 5 and 3 quarter inches. Now we do have a few different positions we can put our rack into. First one, we're going to remove our pin here at the bottom. It's going to allow us to tilt our mast away and fold it down. Then we're going to gain full access into our back hatch area to get anything in or out that we may need. With that being so low, we can also take out larger items over the top of our rack. This prevents us from having to remove our bike rack just to gain items out of the back. For our final position, it's going to be great for storage. We're going to remove each pin on either side and replace in the top. Now you may have to move your hooks out of the way just a little bit so that you can line up your pinholes. Again, this is great for storage anytime you want to take your bike rack off of your vehicle and stow it away somewhere. As for our hitch, this is designed to work with two inch hitches as well as inch and a quarter. So we have our sleeve on there. We also have an anti-rattle bolt and clip that's going to hold this in place and it's going to keep a lot of shake and play out of the bike rack as you head down the road. So that's going to be our completed look at the Swagman XC2 Platform Style 2 Bike Rack, part number S64650 on our 2016 Mazda CX-9. Here it is on our test course. We'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action, which simulates turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next, we're at the alternating speed bumps, which will see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Finally, we have the full speed bumps, where we'll see the up and down action, which is just like driving out of a parking lot, garage, or driveway. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.